Hello everyone, I'm Ernie and I am so glad you're here with us today. Today, I am going to show you how you can get your gold, your super fine gold, your flower gold out of your concentrate and get just about 100% of it. And let's get into it. Earlier in the week, I went to Six Mile Canyon to the Frank Mill, and I took a test sample of the process ore that they had worked with, and I did get a pretty good result from that. And so I decided to bring home 15 pounds of this material, and we're going to work it out today and see how much gold we get from this sample. And let's get to it. Here is the material we brought home from the Frank Mill, and it weighs up to 15.66 pounds. I do have to mention that after we had weighed this up, I did classify out the hard chunks of clay that was in the material, and we lost about a pound and a half, so we actually have about 14 pounds of material to work with. Here is the concentrate that we have to work with, that big piece of uh, rock in there is not a piece of gold. I understand there's a lot of sand, but it was necessary to get all the mineralization in this material. We are now going to do our hydrochloric acid wash, and the hydrochloric acid will dissolve a lot of unwanted material. And this wash will last about one hour. Actually, we did it an hour and a half today. When you see me spraying the utensils, I am spraying distilled water on the utensils to clean everything so I won't drop acid everywhere, which I am prone to do. <laughs> so at this point, I do want to say to take all your safety precautions, wear your PPE, make sure you have your respirator on to protect your nose and your lungs, and keep yourself safe as you're working with these dangerous materials. At this point, after our hydrochloric wash, I rinse the material out three times with distilled water. And what I do when I pour the water in, I will turn the hot plate on high and let it begin to boil. And when it begins to boil, I turn the temperature back down, I let it cool off, and then I will do the second and the third rinse. Now we will do our 50% distilled water and 50% nitric acid wash. And what this will remove is the silver and the copper that is in the ore.
I am going to save this solution just in case if there is any silver or copper in this solution and I will work on this project at a later time. Now, I will do two rinses to clean out this material. Now we will make our aquaregia so we can turn our gold into solution. First, we will add in 150 milliliters of hydrochloric acid, also known as HCl. Now we will add in our nitric acid and this is the nitric acid that we had made here in our lab and I will leave a link to that episode in the description box so you can watch that episode on how to make your nitric acid. I am starting off with two and a quarter milliliters of nitric acid and I will add in more as I need it along the process. After one and a half hours of this process, we will now filter our aqua regia. And now we will denox or neutralize our aquaregia using sulfamic acid. And I add sulfamic acid into the solution until there is no more reaction. I did need to mention that I did do my Stannis chloride test, but I forgot to videotape it and I apologize about that. But we do have gold in our solution. The Stannis chloride that we use in our test today was made here in our lab and I will leave a link to that episode in our description box. And now we will filter our aquaregia to remove the sulfamic acid granules.
Now we will precipitate, also known as dropping our gold from our aqua regia, using iron sulfate. I want to apologize for not videotaping the mixing of the iron sulfate with 60 milliliters of warm water. I had just forgotten to do it. I mixed two teaspoons of iron sulfate with 60 milliliters of heated distilled water. Since I had to filter the iron sulfate, I decided to use the same filter that I used to remove the sulfamic acid granules. It's 8.30 p.m. and I am going to allow our solution to precipitate overnight. Fourteen and a half hours have passed and let's see how much gold drop we got. The camera is having a little difficulty in capturing our gold drop, but honestly, we got more than what I expected. We are going to give this one good rinse with distilled water. We will give our material one last wash with hydrochloric acid. And this will be our last distilled water rinse. After I got the gold drop out of the beaker and into the crucible dish, I poured the excess water into the napkin, but I think it was a mistake to do that. I believe I lost some gold in the process. We now have our crucible dish and our gold drop heating up in the furnace and is beginning to materialize. You can see that our gold drop has now materialized into a nice gold bead that came from the 1800s. We have 0 0.042 of a gram. Wow. 
Well, this wraps up this episode of us getting our gold bead from the Frink Mill from Six Mile Canyon. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. For me, it was special, and I hope it was for you, knowing that we got some gold from the miners and prospectors and workers from the 1800s, where they worked their butts off, processed this ore to get the gold, and they missed some of it, and we were able to get a tiny bit of it. And that's special for me. I hope it's special for you. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did enjoy this episode i encourage you to spank that like button and to share this on your channel so others could enjoy the process and the history of six mile canyon and if you haven't subscribed to our channel i would like to encourage you to subscribe and to become part of our au family we would love to have you in the family we're so thankful that you're here we deeply appreciate your support and we will see you on the next one